How's it going? I'm Kirk Hesedar. I'm here in my studio. Today I'm going to go over making electro EDM type sounds using one of the newest products I picked up, the Moog Sub Fatty. I've been using it on remixes, I've been using it on originals, and it sounds fantastic. It's very fat, it's very gritty, it's exactly what I look for when I'm making a modern, you know, house electro dance type record. So I'll go through what I do when I'm trying to pick up some of the sounds on something I'm working on. Alright, so now let's make a sound. We have oscillator 1 and 2 here. It's 2 oscillator synth. We also have a sub oscillator. Sub oscillator is a square waveform and it's an octave below oscillator 1. So you can call it pretty much an, a 3 oscillator synth, even though technically it's 2. But, you know, we'll go from there. Let's start with oscillator 1. We'll turn up the volume. Now, we have that. So let's come with the waveform next and let's change the waveform, find a waveform we like. Alright, it's already gritty, it's big sound, that's what I'm looking for. Now let's layer oscillator 2 and pick a waveform as well. Sounds really gritty to me in here. Let's go to sub oscillator to add that extra octave below oscillator 1 to make it really fat. oscillator 2 as well. Now let's separate oscillator 1 and 2 because the waveforms are pretty close to each other so they're phasing a little bit. So for oscillator 2 we'll move the octave up. Now it adds a clear distinction between oscillator 1 and 2. Huge sound right now between the two oscillators and the sub oscillator. Then let's go to the filter section. Let's mess with the cutoff and the resonance. Find that tone we're looking for. I'm hearing there now over here there's a multi drive knob that's going to add this nice overdrive over your sound. It sounds beautiful, it's totally gritty, cuts through. I mean, it's fantastic sound. Next thing you want to do, maybe because you know, when I like to lay these down, I like to lay them down live and try different things on the fly and then cut them up in Ableton and rearrange them later. So I have a mod wheel over here and now I'll add my LFO, my modulation. So you can turn it up, that will trigger it and you have a wave, filter and pitch modulation. You can try each of them separately. And then your mod wheel will control the level of it. So I like the wave one, but I think it's a little too intense, so I'm going to pull it back a little bit. Cool, I'm ready. I mean, I like the sound. So now I just usually just throw a beat on Ableton, and I'll record what I'm doing in there, lot, try lots of different things, and then I'll cut it up later. But I mean, what the most important part is here, it's got a fat, gritty tone. Now usually be for the drop of a track, so why don't we just try it out? And I'm just gonna put on a drum beat, raw drum beat, nothing else, no backing track, just that and this synth.
mess around and I can take all those different parts, like the mod parts, cut that off, pam different ways, you know, do the builds. But the most important thing is the tone was there, the fatness was there, the grit, everything I wanted was there. The sub fatty by Moog. Thing is awesome. See you next time.